The Taj Mahal at Agra was an extravagant construction whose costs are said to have drained the finances of the Mughal Empire. But did you know Shah Jahan spent double the amount that he spent on the Taj on his throne? Hi, I am Akshay Chavan and I am going to tell you the story of the peacock throne of the Mughal emperors. Kohinoor is considered the most valuable diamond in history, but that was just one of the thousands of nameless diamonds, rubies, emeralds and pearls that decorated the takte tos or the peacock throne of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. Wrought out of 1150 kg of gold and 230 kg of precious stones, the throne in its final form is said to have been valued at 1 crore rupees in contrast to the 50 lakh rupees said to have been spent on the construction of the Taj Mahal. Thrones have traditionally been the symbol of power and prestige for monarchs around the world. In the Hindu tradition, it was the cushion with a backrest, referred to in the Vedas as Gartha or the high seat, which had a religious significance. It was this Gartha that later evolved into the Raj Gaddi. Due to this religious tradition, most Indian rulers did not have opulent thrones and sat on these high cushions. Following the Central Asian nomadic tradition, the rulers of the early Mughal emperors also used thrones of wood or stone which were easily transportable. The extremely simple takht e jahangiri used by Mughal Emperor Jahangir made out of black touchstone can still be seen at the Agra fort. On becoming emperor in 1628, Shah Jahan decided to depart from tradition. He decided that he wanted a grand throne for himself which would rival the takht e suleiman or the throne of the biblical king Solomon and so gave orders for the construction of a grand gold throne. The new throne was worked on for seven years and finally completed in 1635 CE. What was built was a jaw-dropping marvel. On the outside, the panels of gold were decorated with minakari or enamel work. The inside was thickly set with rubies, diamonds and other jewels and it was supported by emerald columns. On top of each pillar, there were two peacocks thick set with gems and between each two peacocks there was a tree set with rubies, diamonds, emeralds and pearls. Among the historic diamonds decorated it were the famous Kohinoor, the Akbar Shah, the Shah diamond and the second largest spinel ruby in the world, the Timur ruby. A 20 verse poem praising the emperor in emerald letters was embedded in the throne. On 12th March 1635, Emperor Shah Jahan ascended for the first time the newly completed peacock throne in the Diwane Khas at the Red Fort in Delhi. And from then on, the fame of the throne spread far and wide. Interestingly, its original name was Takht Murassa or the Bijwel Throne. But because of the peacocks on it, it became popularly known as the Takte Tos or the peacock throne of the Mughal Empire. Emperor Shah Jahan's son Aurangzeb usurped the throne in 1658 CE and ruled till 1707. After him, a series of weak Mughal emperors sat on the throne. The splendour of the Mughal court would come crashing down when the Persian ruler Nadir Shah invaded and sacked Delhi in March 1739. Nadir Shah levied a fine of 2 crore rupees on the Mughal emperor Muhammad Shah Rangila. Apart from the entire Mughal treasury, Nadir Shah carried the peacock throne and seven other Mughal thrones with him to Iran. One of these thrones was gifted by Nadir Shah to the Ottoman Sultan of Turkey and is currently on display at the Topkapi Palace Museum in Istanbul. Sadly, the famed peacock throne had a rather tragic fate. On the night of 20th March 1747, Nadir Shah was assassinated in his sleep. After his death, the peacock throne was destroyed and the loot distributed among the conspirators. Decades later, the Shahs of Iran 
use the parts of the original peacock throne to create a new throne called the Sun Throne or the Nadiri Peacock Throne. This Nadiri Peacock Throne is on display at the National Treasury of the Central Bank of Iran. Meanwhile in India, the Mughal power had diminished considerably. The repeated attacks on the Red Fort by the Marathas, Jats, Sikhs and the Rohilas had made the Mughals virtually bankrupt. With the loss of the original peacock throne, a wooden replica was made and painted with gold. This was used by the Mughal emperors till the time of Bahadur Shah Zafar. Following the outbreak of the revolt of 1857, it was on this wooden replica that Bahadur Shah Zafar was proclaimed as the emperor of Hindustan by the Indian fighters. Following the recapture of Delhi and the subsequent loot of the Red Fort, this throne was destroyed by the British forces. Today, a marble pedestal stands in the Diwane Khas in Delhi, where the peacock throne once stood, a faint marker of the most valuable throne ever created in history.